Hey, Coach Tom here. Are you someone that gets frustrated because there's just more things to do than you can ever get done? Are you someone that maybe realizes you're not quite as organized and inspired as you could be? I mean, let's face it, there's probably tasks that you just know you got to do, but oh man, they just suck the friggin' life out of you. You just hate the thought that you got to do it again, right? Are you someone that's busy, but not always effective in what you're doing? Do you, are you someone that just wishes that you could do more and make more impact, but not necessarily have to work harder? Right? Someone almost like those pro athletes that are making tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in these contracts, but they, they really don't look like they're working that hard. Well, this is something that we call being in your flow state or working in what we call your authentic ability. And I can tell you, promise you, that if you're doing uh, things in your authentic ability, then your energy is going to go up, your productivity is going to go up, your efficiency is going to go up, you're going to be able to make a bigger impact in humanity and you're going to be able to have the time, energy and money to do more things with your family, more things with your sports, more things with your hobbies, more things that you would love to do. I mean, let's face it, there are those people like pro athletes or, or artists, like, for example, a Picasso sort of a person, right? If he's doing what it is that he was meant to do in his what we call your authentic ability, He's creating beautiful masterpieces that sell for like, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars. But if he's busy doing all kinds of other things like answering emails and buying supplies and worrying about details, it's probably taking out him out of his creative ability zone, out of his authentic ability, and is decreasing his overall efficiency, effectiveness, and his joy. So the key then is to identify your authentic ability zone. What is it that, that you were designed to do predominantly? And if you do more of that, you'll have more fun doing it, your efficiency and effectiveness will go up, and your productivity will skyrocket. So how do you identify your authentic ability? Well, I learned this exercise from my dear friend Julia Waller at Strategic Coach. And if you'd like to learn more about that, you can contact Julia at Strategic Coach. But let me just share this with you at this time. Authentic ability, which you to take a piece of paper and you draw it into four quadrants. On the bottom right hand, and you write down everything that you do in terms of a week in your business. Okay, on the bottom right hand side of this, you put the things that you're quite frankly incompetent at. You're really just not that good at, and or they suck the life out of you when you do them. On the left hand side of the four quadrant grid, you're going to list all of the things that at best you're just competent at. I mean, you'll never get better than just average at, regardless of how long you do it. Okay? They probably don't inspire very much either. Top right, you write things that you're pretty damn good at, what I would call excellent at, but they don't give you the juice, they don't give you the spizz, they don't give you the, the fire that you would love to have on a day in and day out basis. On the top left is where you write your authentic ability things. These are things that you are inherently, naturally, innately good at, and man, they bring the fire, they bring the passion, they bring the spizz. This is the stuff that is the juice that is exciting. Now, let me tell you something. Many years ago, one of my mentors, Dr. John Martini told me that he only does a few things in his life. All he does is read, write, study, and speak. That's all he does. Read, write, study, and speak. And I've seen John go from a practicing doc to a massively influential international uh, caretaker of humanity, making tens of millions of dollars a year. He's written 40 books. It's just, he's, but he's focused on what it was that he was brought here to do, his authentic ability. Then I start working with the people at Strategic Coach and my new mentor, Dan Sullivan, tells me that all he does is just create new content. Everybody else in the company looks after all of the other details. So these are only two examples, you guys, of massively influential people that are making a big difference. But what they've learned to do is to only do the things that they were authentically great at, the things that you were predestined to do, the things that are programmed from within. So you'll get some bonus points here if you'll actually map out approximately how many minutes or hours in a week that you do these different activities that you put into the four quadrants and then you want to add it all up and get a sense of the percentage of time that you're working in each one of the four quadrants i can tell you from experience that most people are working the vast majority of their time in incompetent or competent things no wonder it's sucking the life out of you no wonder you're not as efficient and effective and having as much fun as you could be the goal then is to transition and do more things above the line, more things that you're great at, or ideally more things that are in your authentic ability. Because that's again, as I've said over and over on this video, that's where the juice is. And I promise you, the juice is worth the squeeze. If you just make a couple of choices in your life, because let's face it, you can continue doing what you're doing, 
which likely means you're not as effective and efficient as you could be, which means you're not able to spend as much time with your family and your hobbies and your sports. You're not able to travel the world the way you would like to. You're kind of, many people tell me when they on board with us, that they're, they're kind of feel like they're stuck in a rut. So you can choose to stay there or you can choose to identify your authentic ability. You can choose to uh, do more with the same amount of hours of time. And if you just move a few percentage <coughs> points, pardon me, a few percentage points higher in terms of doing more things in your authentic ability, productivity and so on is going to go massively up as is your efficiency, fun and fulfillment. If you're someone that would like some help in this process and others to help identify where you may be stuck, to help you identify your most authentic vision for your life and what the interferences are and whether our program could help you go to the next level, please just click on the link that's associated with this video and I would love to get one of our coaches to contact you, spend some time identifying where the blocks may be, where the interferences to growth may be, and we would love to be a part of your team to help you get the most effective and efficient you can be so that you can make the biggest influence on humanity, enjoying more time with your family, making more money in the process.